Welcome, Scorpion of Fucus, to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast for January 25th through the 31st of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology, very different from mainstream astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to click the link up above for more information. All right, so Scorpio and Ephucus, we've got Mercury essentially going station this week. Let me go and show you what I mean here in the transit graph. Going station direct on Monday. And when he does, he's within one degree of Pluto. So really drawing out this conjunction with Pluto all week long, making it a very transformative week um, and highlighting and emphasizing it on Saturday. So uh, this is nothing new. Uh, this is the third and final aspect with Mercury. He's already gone over this position and then retrograde and then now back over again. So really with uh, particularly the past few weeks, whatever you've been learning more about in terms of your values, maybe in terms of the financial material stuff, of that second house now putting that energy forward making those changes and applying them really drawing the line where necessary so as the week unfolds you'll probably notice more of that momentum and i think monday is a good time to reflect and and really think about you know the strategy or whatever it is you're intent on and moving that forward as the rest of the week unfolds now mercury is also associated with your eighth house so everything that's deep and meaningful all right, in your life it could be changing. So again, being open to that and open to changing with maybe friends or groups or organizations this week with, since uh, Mercury does rule your 11th also. Now that's uh, spending this uh, whole week and then also Jupiter conjoining up to the North Node all week long also. So here there's that optimism perhaps. And I know a lot of that optimism is kind of introverted, maybe rehashing, rethinking where our life path is going. Uh, but the life path energy is slowly shifting into your career or your legacy or anything on that productive or public level. So uh, momentum here, it'll be slow and steady as we go into February, but there could be some insights, maybe some insights from last weekend in particular when this conjunction went exact. But um, whatever it is, really seeing where you can pursue your legacy, pursue your career, put some of this positive energy into that, I think is fantastic. Now, as we approach the weekend, Venus is going to be sextiling up to Neptune. So it could be easy going with those values, even though a lot of that's changing. You know, that could be when things are starting to lift, even though uh, it could be an emphasized week. You know, on one level, um, especially on Saturday, it could be quite deep, could be quite intense with the changes there, hopefully from your own, you know, willpower. And you're, you're the one being the active participant with that. But then on another level, you know, there's an enjoyment about it. There's a beauty about it. And I think seeing that beauty and going with the flow with this sextile up to Neptune can be fantastic because Venus does tend to lift up the energies of things um, in that lighter, more benefic sort of sense. And also, if you notice too, last week, if there was changes with your perspective on relationships or changes with your spiritual alone time, all of that has been transformed and is now going into a much lighter part of the chart, which is Sagittarius. So also over the weekend, Mercury will then be squaring up to Uranus, of course. So there's this final integration now with freedom and where you can revolutionize uh, those perhaps finances and material stuff all through really having freedom with your self-expression. You know, Uranus is in your fifth house has been helping you guys, although not always easy, helping you guys express yourself or follow your passions, follow your interests, having that freedom there. And um, that's going to be strongly emphasized going into next week. And uh, whatever that impulse is or that feeling of revolution, uh, constructively working on it, implementing that in a grounded way with these new values, which are shifting and changing for you. Now, Mars, your ruler is shifting into your 12th house this week. So you guys will probably notice maybe more of a uh, wanting to get some alone time maybe that spiritual time out to meditate. And I think it's excellent for that. I think it's really good for uh, bringing in that presence into whatever it is you might be involved with and uh, getting that spiritual time out. Now the sun is still in your third. We'll just shift it in here last weekend. So there's energy, there's motivation, and there's focus to communicate, to read, to write, to share, and to uh, you know get involved with the practical aspects of life. So anything that is about the day-to-day -day practical stuff, focusing on that I think can be a good source of energy and insight. All right, Scorpion of Fucus, have a great week. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you next time.